please. Lily, My son's Dorsey not a Dorsey. Kill you all. Let him go. The deluge of blood is that. coming for you all. Sorry, I, I didn't... I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold. Letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. No, I was never known Desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. And they're gonna let the cold do its work. I wonder if it'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. I'm used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. Nice talking to you. This kid's going in the pillories next. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey Uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. 
Understand that the law cannot wait until you have the means to pay. The boy will go to the pillory soon. It's time. Mercy. <laughs> I do not see the word in my law books. The Patriarch has charged me to dispense justice, not mercy. Proceed. They are the only instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die by exposure. Sometimes I might grant a reprieve after frostbiters claim their extremities. Oh, to the contrary. It is more merciful than the punishments meted out by the mountain clans or the gangs of the plains. If we did any less, they would see our nation as weak. And in Colorado, weakness is death. As much as we might long for the world before the bombs, when justice was not so cruel, that is not the world we inhabit. And let's be honest, Judge. You kind of like it too, don't you? No, I do not. I only do what the law commands. And since you're the law around here, I guess you're your own boss. I'll follow principles set forth at the second founding of this city, as you know very well. Without our laws and the penalties to enforce them, we're no better than the Wastelanders. For some offenses, we have a work camp on the plains. I don't approve of their methods, but it's outside my jurisdiction. Minor infractions like public drunkenness or disorderly conduct are punished by a short stay in the sheriff's lockup. Indeed. Cornelius Dorsey lives. He'll kill y'all. How the hell do these Dorseys get into the city? Death to Buchanan! Death to the hundred stinking families! <coughs> if it's too dangerous for you, Marshals, maybe I should go in there myself. Sheriff Daisy! Sheriff! Miss Pluck Deputy? How long is the sheriff going to be busy? Go. As long as it takes, Miss Wesson. You know the trouble that's gone down. I... Miss Wes... Miss Wesson, could you... I'm sorry. I have to talk to these folks. Sorry about that. Are you... The Rangers? We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy is waiting for you in the back. Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Kwan. Reports. Lots of reports. The Dorsey raid really tore up the town. Murder, looting, fires, they even attacked this station. Not that they got very far. It's been exhausting. <laughs> Don't blink. It's on the back of the box. We keep the peace here in Colorado Springs. Mostly, though, we do what Sheriff Daisy says. Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form. Well, now you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey Raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good, and the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the Garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. And by speak, you mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, 
I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. And I'm glad to hear it. The job's easy enough, if you like using bullets. Now, the Dorsey's hostages are from the fancy side of town. Hundred families folk. Try to get them out of there alive, or I'll never hear the fucking end of it. And please, take young Miss Weston with you. I need that girl out of my hair. In fact, I'm going to insist. I'm telling Lupinski not to let you into the garden without her. But don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Go in there and kick some ass. The garden's on the far side of the market square. Don't forget to take Miss Wesson with you. Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready when you are. No good traitors, that's what they are. Used to be hundred families, like us, but rotten. Backstabbers, every one of them. At least that's what my father says. They rebelled against the Patriarch before I was born, and were driven from the city. I was always told they were dead and gone. It seems I was misinformed. It's a project of the Ward family. A showcase for their know-how. They grow food there using the latest technologies. Colorado Springs leads the world in science. But there are plenty of places to hide in the garden. The Dorseys could be laying for us anywhere. We shall have to be cautious. Certainly. My father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk, and I'm the best shot in the city. Oh, it's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. I... No. But I have hunted. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. I believe you're trying to trick me, strangers. There is no right gun for hunting bison. The safest way to hunt bison is to stampede them off of a cliff, and only if you have a very fast vehicle. At last! He'll kill you all! Extra, extra! Cowardly attack on Colorado Springs! No mercy on your soul! Nothing Colorado. wrong! Murderers! How does it feel now? Cousins killed by Dorsey thugs! Families taken hostage! Murderers! Martha? Why else would I even keep a shotgun around? Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Marshal Lupinski should be out front. It's square. They won't be the Arapaho Garage is just mess. outside the Snapping Jimmy Bob's still standing. Dorsey's or no Dorsey's? You think a little raid would stop snapping Jimmy Bob? N new faces? Let me know if you need to restart. That's snapping Jimmy Bob, thank you. Let's.
Did you see the Dorses almost blow up the statue? Yeah, I was hiding under the bookseller's stall. Marshall stopped him at the last second. Wouldn't be Market Square without it. Jesus, loaves and fishes, Christ! That's a bomb under my stall, ain't it? Oh, oh shit, Taiwan. God, it is. We best stay back. God damn it! Where are the marshals? They've got their hands full licking their wounds. You're gonna be waiting a while. Back up slowly. Holy mackerel! Better stay back from my stall. Those goddamn Dorsey's dropped a landmine under it. Really? That's great news. Here's a little something for you. I'm back in business. these marshals and Dorsey's got on them. Yeah, those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill them, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from marshals no more. Engaging target. Ah!
Name Snappin' Jimmy Bob. Let's. Always something breaking. No time. Let's hope you got another <clears throat> career plan. I give it another three months before Pesa leaves you in the dust. And so what if she does? Come on, pal. Pull through. Just means I gotta work harder. Ain't no shame in that. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Understood, brother. in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. We'll talk more when you come back. Make sure you take care of that bike when you... Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far? Nah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorsey's dead if they'd walked in my garage. Haven't seen your friends before. If you folks are looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. This is the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet. But we fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. You need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. Eh? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so... Good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity-toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kinda pissed us off at the time, actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning his back on his own people. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. Co-workers, not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders, get me? Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer's our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. 
She's ten pounds of attitude in a five-pound bag. You take care now. That crew'd be lucky to have you. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, nothing will go wrong. What now? There are people dying right here, right now, and you're trying to get me to leave? What the hell are you thinking? Now I can. Sure. Okay. You're good. Good luck. to the freshly reopened Taiwan. You didn't hear this from me, Franz, but word is there's still Dorseys all around the city waiting to jump innocents such as yourself. Be sure to stock up with me, yeah? Sardine Lee. Come out of there, you sons of bitches! Josiah, come on! Don't provoke them! But they're in my shop! Brave Marshal, stop Dorsey's at Palace Bastards. Gates! Patriarch alive and safe! Dorsey scum! <gasps> Will someone please help my boy? How did those maniacs even get How into the city? Dead? Please, my son! You? don't look like marshals. Do you work for the Patriarch? Then... then maybe the Magistrate will listen to you. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. Please, help my son! How does it feel now? Rangers, what brings you here? As I said, you can argue his case. Convince me to set him free, and I will do so. My concern cannot be for his mother. It can only be for the law. Regrettable, but he chose this path indeed. Get your Colorado Patriot here, hot off the press! 
extra, extra cowardly attack on Colorado Springs. Martha, I ain't. Well, you should be. You're the worst marksman I've ever seen. That ain't true. What about our nephew, Chip? I've never Chip? been able to talk Chip is sense five years old, Josiah. Josiah. And he's oh, still a better shot. Come, Sarnet. You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there. Hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. They'll kill you. You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Oh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. Some of those Dorsey bastards are hiding out in my shop. My shop! Finest clothing store in the whole dang town. So I'm going in after them. They're too busy. Besides, a man should be able to protect his own shop. Thank you. Keep an old man from killing himself, will you? Killing myself? Can't you pretend to have some faith in me, Martha? Especially in front of these soldier types? You do this, you'll get a nice discount at the shop. Assuming I still have a shop by the time it's all over. Well, go on then. Shit, Hotlanders! We thought you was all dead! Back off! I done told you! Don't come any closer! Ah! Uh, nah, you're right! We're gone! <laughs> nice get up! Phew, boy. Thanks again for taking care of those Dorseys. We'll clean up the old store and make it good as new. Pretty soon we'll be selling suits, pants, hats, and all the rest. Finest garments in town. And here, a little token of our appreciation. Come on back after we reopen the shop. Dozens killed by Dorsey thugs. Murderers! Families taken hostage. Rangers, what brings you here? Excellent. This is the cost in Colorado dollars. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. We ain't Murder! gonna wait for our lives! We ain't- Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and- and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you, say thank you, thank you. Neelius Dorsey to lives. To Colorado He'll Patriot kill you all. We'll have our revenge. You ain't seen the last you of us. You rangers are heroes. I'm gonna tell everyone what you did for my son. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you die slow! How does extra, it feel now? Extra cowardly attack on Colorado Springs! How does it feel now? Dozens killed Bastards. by Jersey thugs! Families taken hostage! How does it feel now?
By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. An invitation from the head of a family or authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Good day.